Hey everybody, welcome back to Cooking with Chrissy. I'm not Chrissy, I'm Todd. I'm usually on that side of the camera, but today I'm going to hop over to this side. Chrissy's a little under the weather. I'm going to make her some breakfast in bed today. Got a great breakfast sandwich that uh, I think you're really going to want to try out. So come on, let me show you what we've got. Before we get going, I want to let everybody know that I was inspired to do this recipe by a video I saw on the White Thunder Barbecue channel, so if you want to check out that video, the link will be in the description below. Uh, the ingredients are listed here on the screen. I want to point out I used frozen hash browns. If you want to make your own, go for it. I'm going for quick and easy. I'm no cook. I'm going with the frozen hash browns. They come out great. First thing you want to do is lay your bacon out on the pan. Just uh, spread it all out as flat as you can and just pack it on there. It's going to shrink up a bit as, uh, as it cooks. And you're going to want to go ahead and put that in a uh, 375 degree oven while we do the rest of the sandwich. We're going to put a little oil in our pan and put the frozen hash browns in. You want to put them in while they're frozen go ahead and start cooking them flip them whenever the one side gets done and if you're smarter than me you'll use a spatula while those are cooking we'll go ahead and slice up some of our Colby Jack cheese you can use cheddar if you prefer um, this is what I happen to have on hand Once those are flipped, you can lay the cheese on the cook side, let that start melting down while they're browning on the reverse. Those finish up, go ahead and remove them from the heat. Now we're going to make our sausage patties. You want these kind of square, kind of the same shape as your hash browns. So I'm going to make a thin patty. These sandwiches are going to be pretty thick, so you don't want them, want your patties real thick. And remember to make them a little bigger than the hash browns because they're going to shrink up as you cook them. And when those are ready, go ahead and put them on the heat. They're going to cook really quick because we made thin patties. Just flip them over as soon as they're done on the one side. Let them get just start to get a little brown on each side and then remove them. Now we're going to add a little more oil to our pan and cook our eggs. Just crack a couple eggs right into the hot oil. I went ahead and took a fork and broke the yolks. Since we don't have a uh, traditional bun on this sandwich, I didn't want a real runny yolk. them on one side and then flip them over. Doesn't take very long. Now it's time to put it all together. Take a hash brown with the cheese on it. Lay on a sausage patty. Put on your bacon. We're going to top that with an egg and finish it off with another hash brown. And there we have it. This is my uh, ultimate breakfast sandwich. I can't wait to tear into it. Wow, that is really, really good. If you enjoyed this recipe, you'd like to see some other recipes, maybe by somebody who can actually cook. Uh, be sure to click on one of the links on the screen and check out some of our other videos. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button.